Hey everyone, my name is Megan and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post tech tips, college videos, and lifestyle content. So if you're interested in any of those, be sure to subscribe down below so you never miss a video. In celebration of 2021, I wanted to post a video that has 21 tech personal project ideas so that you guys can have some new personal projects to work on for the entire year. This is especially good if you guys are looking for projects to boost your resume or looking for some ways to build experience. And I even have them organized into beginner, intermediate, and advanced so that you guys can sort based on whichever skill level fits you best. Before I get into the projects themselves, I wanted to make a note that you should definitely be using Git, either GitLab, GitHub, or something similar to use version control for your projects. This way, you can have your projects hosted somewhere online so that you can share them with others. This is fantastic for if you plan to put them on your resume or LinkedIn, and also you can show it to recruiters or hiring managers that may be interested in you. Additionally, if something happens and your laptop breaks or you somehow break your hard drive or something along those lines, if you use GitHub or GitLab, all of your code will be stored online. So if you have to get a new laptop or a new hard drive, you can just Get all of your code and you won't lose your project. If you want help setting up Git and you'd like a video on that, just let me know in the comments down below and I can work on a little tutorial for setting it up and using it. If you're using personal projects to boost your resume and you think you might need some resume advice or you aren't sure how to word your personal project section, go ahead and reach out to me on my website at meganfibbins.com services and I can work with you to create a really good personal project section on your resume. All right, with that covered, let's move into the project ideas. I'll put timestamps in the bar below so that you can just click wherever you're interested in going. We'll start with beginner projects, then intermediate, and then advanced. So just kind of take a look at whatever section seems to fit you most. All right, so we're gonna start out with beginner project ideas. And like I mentioned, these are ones that can probably be done in less than 10 hours and require very little setup or APIs or anything like that. First up, we have the classic like text-based console game. And by that, I basically mean the ones where you send some output and then the user types in input and then you just kind of go back and forth like that. Some prime examples of this are things like number guessing games, 20 questions, or even something like tic-tac-toe that you can make in the console. This is one of those like standard beginner projects, so you've probably seen it online somewhere, but I think it's definitely a great place to get started to get you familiar with user IO. If you're looking to get into mobile app development, you can make a purely informative app that just tells people some facts about something you're interested in, or maybe even an about you app. This is a great way to learn the mechanics of making apps, such as going from page to page and closing things and like displaying things without having to get too complicated. You could make something about your favorite books or your favorite foods. Now, if you're interested in game development but you aren't really sure where to start, you could just do something simple with a really basic UI where users can just control like something small. So a great example of this is Pong or Breakout where users control the paddles and try to hit a ball across the screen. You could keep track of points or lives or basic things like that. You could even make like some power-ups so that you speed up the paddle or slow it down. I did this project in one of my software development classes and it actually is pretty tough, but it definitely taught me a lot. If you're interested in some text processing or manipulation, you could create a keyword finder. I actually have a personal project like this on my GitHub that I can link down below, where essentially you can take in like a chunk of text from a user and then you can kind of parse through it and then end up outputting the like main idea of the text in the form of keywords. So I'm pretty sure in mine, I had it leave out words like and and the, and just kind of calculate the keyword based on that. This is great because it can teach you some cool data structures and also some string manipulation. Another cool idea is to make a GPA calculator or a grade calculator. Um, for inspiration, you can check out Ben Egg's like grade calculator online, where essentially you can take in all of the percentages that projects are worth and then the score that you got on them, and then it will output the grade that you currently have in the class. For a GPA calculator, you could take in however many credits that class was, and then what your GPA was from that course, or what your letter grade was, and then it can output your current GPA. 
Another fun small project that you could do is make a magic eight ball where users can type in their question for you and then your magic eight ball can output the answer. And this can be purely console based, but if you're looking for a little bit of like added challenge, you could even make a UI for it and display the text on a screen. And of course, it wouldn't be a project ideas video if I didn't give the calculator project idea, where essentially you just implement your own calculator. Again, this could be done in the console, but for an added challenge, you could make a UI for it where they can press buttons. Um, and also you could do a little added challenge by adding functionality or making the UI a little bit prettier. Of course, this is a pretty standard beginner's project, so you can definitely find resources for it online if you're struggling. So that's it for beginner project ideas. And if those didn't sound like quite your fit, we're going to move into intermediate project ideas, which will be a little bit more challenging and hopefully will teach you more. First up is to create a currency converter. Now this might seem simple, but I'm going to challenge you, don't try and use manual conversion. So don't go ahead and like figure out what the conversion from US dollars to Canadian dollars is, and then just put that constant in your code. That's not what I want. I want you guys to go and find an API that does currency conversion and then set it up with your project and then let the users choose which currencies they want to convert between and then input values. If you're interested in making a mobile app, you could try out something like a reminders app or a to-do list, or maybe even like a school assignments app. This could be very simple if you make it like that, or it could get really complex and kind of a challenge. Another really cool option that you could do that definitely would use some online APIs is a weather app. And I think this is a pretty standard like intermediate project for mobile app developers where essentially you connect to like an online API that takes in like a zip code or a city name or a county and then it outputs the like weather so like if it's raining or what the temperature is or things like that. If you're interested in like some text manipulation or some security stuff, you could create a cipher or maybe even make like your own Caesar cipher, things like that and then write messages and then have a program that encodes those messages and you can like send them to your friends and have like a decoding program for their end where they can like undo the cipher. Another thing that you can do is create like a random name or random word generator that uses online dictionaries or databases of names so that you can output like a random name to someone looking for them. For added difficulty, you can definitely allow users to select preferences. So like if they want like a traditionally male name versus a traditionally female name or something like date of origin or place of origin, things like that. So this one can definitely be again easy if you choose to make it easier, but you can also do some like added difficulty things like setting filters or creating a nice UI. Another app idea could be to create a clock app that has timers, alarm clocks, stopwatches, etc. And again, this one like sounds kind of easier, but the tricky part about this would be to keep the time going when the phone is off. So you'd have to figure out how to have your program running in the background and also like working with making the phone make noises. One really cool app idea that I've seen before is basically an app that allows roommates to split shared costs. So essentially, say you add roommate A, B, and C into the app and they're listed as like a household. And then roommate A can put in that they paid rent, roommate B can put that they paid utilities, and roommate C can put that they paid groceries. And then your app can essentially calculate how much each person owes to make everyone like break even. So like rent would probably be the most expensive. So roommate A probably wouldn't have to actually pay anything. And then roommate B and C would end up like paying to A. I know it sounds a little bit confusing when I say it, but I think it's definitely a cool challenge, especially when you try to go into like the math of how to break it up and make it all even. So definitely something good to look into if you're interested in a more intermediate project. So that's it for the intermediate project ideas. And if you still are looking for more of a challenge, I'm going to go into some more advanced project ideas, which I think would definitely take a little bit more time and maybe even some research. So the first project idea that I have for this is just like a fitness tracking app. And I know that there are a lot of those out there, so you have a lot of inspiration to draw from, but I personally feel like I'm always missing out of some part of a fitness app. So I think it could be really cool to just kind of make it yourself. And for an added challenge, you could figure out how to link it up with like common fitness devices, so like a Fitbit or an Apple Watch. 
Um, I know if you're making an iOS app, you can use something called HealthKit, which essentially lets you access the health data for the phone. Another really cool idea is to make like a recipe finding app or website where users can input like the ingredients that they have or a cuisine that they're craving or maybe like allergies or budgets or things like that. And then your program would output to them recipes that match the filters that they're looking for. Another cool idea if you're interested in making a game of some sort is you could make like a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi enabled app where friends can play a game together. So you could start off with something like chess or pool um, and essentially just make it so that friends can like connect either when they're all in a group together or like online by using a code or something. I think the more challenging part of this would be creating the connections between people. Uh, so you can really do whatever game you're interested in. If you're interested in learning a little bit of theory or maybe doing some research, you could create a compression and decompression algorithm so that you could essentially compress like text files or images or videos and then decompress them as well. And if you're interested in this one, a good place to start I think would be a Huffman compression algorithm. Uh, we do that for our data structures and algorithms class and I think it's definitely a really cool algorithm. Another cool app or website idea is essentially creating a place for students at your school to come together and rate like study spots, eating locations, classes, etc. Um, and just kind of give ratings on them or like make comments on them. This is a really good way to make like a more social app, but still have like some algorithms going behind it with like figuring out the ratings and stuff like that. A cool challenge that you could do, and this is kind of similar to the game app idea that I mentioned earlier, but you could program chess. Uh, and the tricky part here is definitely if you choose to do like a one player version, you would have to figure out how to program the AI. So you could definitely make like a chess game, maybe with multiple options so that you can play alone or with friends um, and try your hand out at like making the chess AI and also setting up like local play or online play. Lastly, and I think this is definitely the hardest of all of my ideas, is go ahead and try and make your own version of Scratch or a simple programming language. I ended up doing this for one of my classes and essentially we had to make a simple version of the programming language logo and it's actually really tricky because you have to know things like parsing and then also processing the commands and then you have to figure out what to do when you have nested commands. So I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a challenge, try and implement your own simple programming language like Scratch or Logo. I actually have a GitHub repo for the project that I'm talking about. So I'll leave a link to it in the description box below if you wanna check it out and maybe get some inspiration from it. So yeah, that is 21 project ideas for 2021. And I know that some of you have probably done some of these projects before, but I'm hoping that I managed to come up with at least one that you haven't seen or thought of before. And let me know in the comments down below if you end up trying any of these. If you're really looking for a challenge, I am going to challenge you guys to try and do every single one of these in 2021. And if you manage to pull it off, I'd love for you to let me know in the comments uh, and I'll give you a shout out on my channel because I think that's super cool. And I just want you guys to like start building up your experience and doing personal projects. I said this at the beginning and I'm just going to put a reminder out that if you want help creating a project section on your resume, you can just let me know on my website and I'll do my best to help you out. That's it for today's video and I'm super excited to have just like made these project ideas. I've never done a video like this before so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like on the video so I know. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. As always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.